everyone and welcome to today's vlog. Today I want to talk all about my the Jordan Woods situation and my opinion on it. So I'm going to break it down to five points, <clears throat> really six points that I have come up with from this that we can all take away from it. One, I think the most important point is why it's imperative for you to control your own narrative. Now, a lot of times people say that, you know, it's best not to say anything. And in the world of Beyonce, that is true. But if you are going up against someone that is literally controlling the narrative, like the Kardashians were, and painting you out to be a villain and bigger than what it is, that is when you need to step up. So kudos to her for acknowledging and making this, the decision that as a young woman, it's important for me to put a stop to this. She waited a whole week. She was respectful. As she um, said, you know, she still hasn't posted um, anything on Instagram. She hasn't responded to any of the bad tweets and comments and things like that. But she was like, I need to tell my side of the story. Now, I think that what happened was and that brings me to the next point is that two chloe acted like a bird i'm just gonna go ahead and say it. yes an entire bird um your man has loyalty to you when you guys are together but the gag is if you caught that on the red tabletop her and tristan were already separated they were already not together she was just mad that there's someone that she knew that was messing with her quote-unquote ex-man or baby daddy because there was no family um <laughs> christian just don't care christian don't give a care he don't he does not care so what does that mean that means that he is literally living his life um having and parading different women around and you might come up with the baby, but family, I think not. And he's a 27 year old black man. Like I couldn't get a 27 year old black man to uh, act right when I was 27. So, I mean, I guess she thought that because she was a Kardashian and the name that she has that this would be different, but he's not. You can't make someone, no matter how much money or fame or whatever you think you bring to the table, you can't make someone act right that doesn't want to act right. And that's pretty much it. And I think that she was mad that one, to get out, and two, she's just angry. She's mad because, okay, I forgave you quote unquote i'm gonna try to make it work for my daughter and now less than a year later you're doing it again to me there is more stuff out and again i'm in the headlines looking like boo boo the fool like you know kim don't have to do with this type of stuff kylie not dealing with this type of stuff it's really just her um i mean we can go into courtney and scott but that I don't even think that that is the same as far as comparison because that's been over for a minute and their back and forth is something that is always happening but she thought that you know I have this new baby with my other sisters and I'm the only one going through all this mess well I mean how you get them is how you lose them and she got him in a very messy situation and you really rushed to get pregnant you didn't have time to really grow and make sure that this man is committed to you make sure that this is actually what he wants and I think that what the main thing is is that when the narrative was that they had been because everything more stuff was being thrown in that they had been talking for forever that they had sex that you know she was having a secret affair and a secret relationship like just making it bigger than what it was because she was mad she was mad that you know someone openly that had a little bit of fame was messing with her man and she was trying to make an example out of her. Like leave him alone or all hell's gonna break through. 
I'm not one that you can mess with. You can't mess with my man. You can't mess with this. This is mine. And I'm going to make an example so that no one else will want to because I will drag you like anybody else. I think that where Chloe messed up even more was when she literally only has blame to the women and not her trifling man. I'm glad that other celebrities have came up and said, hey, I've been at his parties, boo. She ain't the reason. I'm glad that other people have been showcasing that they seen him out with other people. I'm glad that he was parading another girl two days after the scandal broke. Because it doesn't make sense. He's not committed. He's not in a committed relationship. You're in a committed relationship by yourself. And it's okay. A lot of us have been there, but it's not. And why is Chloe always in these situations? I feel like it goes back to knowing your standards. Chloe is one of those people from her previous relationships that she will hide a lot of mess and take a lot of mess. Like her whole family didn't know that Lamar had like a big drug problem because she hid it from everybody. So she's one of those people that will like do a lot to save face. And that's not always good. That's not always the type of thing that you need. I think that ultimately what I've learned from any of this any of this that we could take away is get you a man that's actually ready to settle down. Get you a man that wants to be a family. Get you a man that is committed and not doing some weird kind of sneaky fake shit. I want to take time to shout out to Jada and Will. Thank you for stepping in. You are seeing a black woman that was literally being villainized over a kiss and honestly I don't care if she shucked his dick I don't care if she did any of that honestly none of that equates to death trap death threats and losing sponsors and all types of stuff because a man that wasn't even in a relationship at the time and had been broken up for months decided to kiss her in public and I believe her but even if she did more, so what? Who hasn't made a mistake as a young woman? Who hasn't gotten too drunk and got a little flirty? Like, you're acting like she committed murder. Acting like she even wants to be with him actually took him. She didn't do any of that. And it's just one person versus the other and... Literally, it was, I'm more popular, so I get to control the narrative. I'm going to keep feeding it. And she was definitely feeding into it by liking different tweets, commenting all these positive quotes, and I'm going to move on quotes, but then try to at her and like run her name through the mud and blame her for ruining your quote-unquote family. Well, if that's the case, then you ruined the first baby mama's family too when you took him while she was still pregnant. But it doesn't matter because I guess you didn't know her. I don't know. It's real funny over here. But shout out to Will and Jada for stepping in. One, I think that most people, if that, what I learned from that is that most people need people in your corner. You need people to come and save you when you make a mistake because you're going to make a mistake. We all do. Two, um, thank God that they, the people that helped her have a platform and all of this stopped because we realized when we saw the story, all of this was crazy and a lot of this was just made up and literally someone was trying to villainize and ruin this girl's life. Two, or the next thing is, Peep behavior. You're not above not being shitted on. So peep the behavior. If you see somebody doing some effed up stuff, take note of it. Don't act like you're above it or it's not going to happen to you. Because ultimately she thought that because she has the baby and they were going to be a quote unquote family that she was going to be exempt from more messed up behavior. 
and I can only guess what kind of information he was saying what kind of I don't want this I don't want to be with you or how many times he's been disappeared he turned his phone on silent or do not disturb like you know this just didn't come out of nowhere it never does people be doing stuff and testing your gangster and you need to put it down or people will continue to push the needle right like as women we're just sometimes too understanding and too nice no you have to put your foot down and have some standards i'm gonna go ahead and say this kim would never all right and the last thing is i want everybody to develop your standards now your standards does not have to be my standards but figure out what is okay and what is not okay obviously she was not okay with him having an open relationship right so don't act like that's okay and that you'll deal with that and have straight yes or no like some people are open to that some people are fine with having multiple people in the bedroom some people aren't but whatever it is make sure that you have those standards and don't wave like you have to because when you bend people will take advantage of that and also not take you seriously also be open with yourself if a man or woman is showing that they don't want to be with you anymore let them go eventually they will leave anyway but now you saved yourself the embarrassment and additional heartache yes it's hard but only give someone a chance that actually wants to be there and fights for you not someone that's going to continue to just take advantage and embarrass you at the end of the day i'm all for team jordan i hope that she bounces back and I get it. I'd be mad too if I was Chloe. But you can't bully people and try to ruin someone's life just because your man wasn't shit. And that's that. So leave the comments below. What is your take on it? How do you feel? And I will see you in the next video.